Oh, this is gonna be a good one. What do you think of a skinny jeans on men? <laughs> it's when it's so tight. The skin, you know, those skinny jeans are so tight. It just makes me feel so uncomfortable. But you know, those kind of like skinny but straight ones. <laughs> Can I give my opinion honestly? Yeah. It's revolting. Yeah. It is so unmanly. It is just. What are they trying to achieve? What are you guys trying to achieve when you when you wear skinny jeans? Did you happen to wander over to the wrong side of the, the <laughs> shopping mall when uh, you were buying trousers? That's so funny. Skinny jeans. Is that what you wear? I'm not. Skinny fit. Okay. Yeah. I just think it's always a bad idea. Always a bad idea. I think there's there's there's, there's two different types. There's a, the skinny jeans. The, there's one. It's very tight. Yeah. And there's one, it's, a, it's not very tight, but it's loose in the bottom. Right. Like, no, you can't really see all your meat and all that. Like, like, literally, but what am I saying is that it's like question, attached. But the question is like... What do you think of it? Do you think it's, it's, it's acceptable to wear a skinny like, like that? I'm not going to sit down and judge everyone, so... No? No. It's just not very nice. I, I would not at all be happy if my son walked in with skinny jeans. He yeah. would be walking out to return them straight away. Absolutely, I agree. No, I, I wouldn't let my son wear them and no. none of the men in my family wear them, thank God. They do wear shorts, that's different. Right. But not skinny jeans, which I associate with women. Yeah. And Even uh, with women though, it's just not appealing. I'm... Yeah, and I mean, I just look at them. It's like the t the beehive scarf. It's like I look at the skinny jeans right. and I think, how do you breathe? Now, first yeah. of all, how do you sit down? <laughs> Yes, I would. You would make a beautiful model. Oh, honestly. <laughs> you? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I think you should. All right. And it's really hard. It's really hard right. to stay skinny for that long. Do you know what? I was actually contacted by a, um, a, an Islamic agency to, you know, be a, like a, I'm a model, a Muslim kind of model and like, you know, wear abayas and whatnot. I said no at the time because, yeah, I thought about it. I was like, Muslim girl, hijab, model, it kind of just doesn't work. Would I ever? No. No, because I like eating. Uh, there's this whole like, I don't want my face plastered everywhere and like, I don't, mm. yeah. I don't, I think there's just, it's something, it's like a grey area. Yeah. Because if you've seen like the influencers, hijabi influencers, it's kind of paint. Yeah, the way they've evolved and it's leaning towards non-hijab, so. Yeah. How often do you think a Muslim should go shopping? That's a very controversial question. A lot of people might be very against me for this one. Um, I personally think feel that you should only go shopping when you need something? Yeah. Um, I would say there's not time for it. You can go shopping any time. I agree. I think the correct answer <laughs> would be once every 40 days. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't know shopping was based on Islam. <laughs> but me either. Yeah. But I mean, I know you have to go shopping for Eid. Like you need new clothes for Eid. But that's pretty much my knowledge on it. I, don't, um, I think Muslims should go shopping as much as everyone else. <laughs> yeah, I think when you need new clothes, you should go buy new clothes. It, you, you shouldn't restrict yourself. I know it's not easy. We are bombarded with advertising. Absolutely. And, and all fashion. the time. Are you saying like, don't be excessive? Don't, yeah, don't be excessive, but don't also be too stingy on yourself. Yeah. Like go and purchase new jeans if you need new jeans. Yeah, do you know what I mean? I mean, that top you've been wearing for years, just yeah. get, get a new one. Get a new one. So, spend as you need. But know when to stop. And know when to stop. But for your wife. That's different. Much. Spend as much as you want right. for your wife. In fact, you can go, you, <laughs> you can go, go shopping um, every week for your wife. Yeah. So that's the message. The rings, the rings. Yeah, here the rings, <laughs> the rings. <laughs> I would love it. Could you imagine people yeah, walking in London? So. Uh, yeah, it wouldn't work in this country. It wouldn't work in this country. No. But I can see it becoming a trend. 
Because I don't think it's fair that the women have to go into our buyer no. as the best form of com covering and then there are men yeah. who, who can just wear whatever. Um, not in the UK, I would, I, would, I, would, I would not say in the UK. However, in Dubai, in Basically, Saudi, Middle East, in the Middle yeah, East, and Middle Gold, East countries, anything yeah. like that, I would say yes, but not in the UK because people's gonna look, he's gonna look at you thinking, what is the guy's but doing? But why not? You can see everyone wearing their own um, fashion, like but, their own... Yeah, I, I, I see where you're coming from, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't consider it in the UK wearing well, and walking in the street and... and, and would that, that, I'm agree with you. Yeah. yeah. Well, first of all, let's define what a dish dasher is. A dish dash is basically an abaya for men. And yes, I think it should be more encouraged. Absolutely. Because it just should, because... <laughs> you just want to see the men suffer. <laughs> <laughs> like a new fashion statement. Yeah, it's yeah. a new fashion statement, and I, I and I think like men would actually, they, they they would jazz it up in so many different ways that to make it like look more acceptable. Yeah. So like they'd make it a denim one, or do, do you know what I mean? I can actually see it happen. I really can. Really bad. <laughs> I know, but I, I I like the dish dash here. I'm not a big fan, mm. but the. Uh, the problem with the turban hijab is that some of the some of the people that I've been seeing wear it. No, it's not. I I don't feel like it's a full hijab. You know, they've still got you know necks showing sometimes, and that bothers me. But when they're actually covering everything, I don't know. It still bothers me, but I don't know why. Oh, that's really funny. <laughs> I'm actually, the way I'm thinking yeah, about it now. Yeah, turban. Yeah. I think that is going to be funny. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> like she, she got a whale on her head and walking around with it. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, they had it. They had a few years back. I should have seen a girl like in East London with like massive turban in her back and they can't even control their head. Like. I'll be a bit blunt about this. Okay. So technically, the idea of hijab is that you're meant to cover. I'm being like, modest. Cover yeah. properly and that it co covers your front. Like, that was the idea of it, right? So I just don't know where it evolved from. <laughs> and I don't know why people think it looks good because it really doesn't. Yeah. It's horrendous. Yes, it's, it's quite unappealing. Very. I, I, I actually describe it as a double head. I describe it as, um, you know, alien. <laughs> Oh god, yeah. You know, alien, that thing that it cut. had that. Oh my yeah. god, I never. Thought. Maybe that's where they got it from. Fabulous, that's put a whole new touch onto that. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 no. Yeah, no, I, I don't like it. Definitely, Definitely I don't, no, no, I don't, no, no. not turban, no. How and why would you want to carry all that extra weight around? And the migraine. No, 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 no. And Girls, you don't want to do that. No. Um, it doesn't look as appealing as you all think. Yeah. Um, stick to simple. Simple is best. Yeah. And the guidelines of Islam are pretty clear. If we just stick to that, we'll find that all around everyone is happy. Yeah. Wearers and viewers. Absolutely. No, just what kind of hijab, hijab is that? Hijab should be just standard hijab, like how people would wear it normally standard with cover their hair that's done the purposes we're, job, always... we're not we're not doing it here to you know show to impress someone yeah. Like that. yeah no yeah. i disagree with that no i agree yeah. i I'm, I'm not a big fan i i, I don't like it and uh, i technically see a pattern people start wearing it and then people tend to start stop wearing hijab yeah have you yeah. realized they all slowly but oh, that's such just a generalization i know it's really bad isn't it be honest yeah i was thinking about it you're thinking about it. I was thinking about it. I'm Why would you? Honest. Let me tell you. Oh, go on, go on. Oh, yeah, go on. But however, mm -hmm. when I heard it religion-wise, yeah. it's, it's, it's a prohibited because when you do it, mm -hmm. there's people who will try to avoid you. When Anything you harms you. you yeah. yeah. Oh, that's how I heard it. Yeah. It's, it becomes a prohibited. So therefore, it ch I changed my mind. However, in the beginning, I did consider it. Can a tattoo ever be tasteful? Yes. No. Okay. When I was young, I really wanted one. I think I was obsessed with them. I used to watch like TV shows about them and stuff. But my dad was like, no way. Because like, he was like, if you get one, you go to hell and then in hell, that tattoo burns. 
I was like, oh my God, I'm scared. <laughs> oh my God, that, that's going to happen if that, I get it. And I, but then I read up like, oh, some scholars say it's okay. It's not actually, my dad was just trying to stop me. <laughs> you? What, would you consider? Um, I would, not for at some point, but at some point I wouldn't. Can they? Can they be chic yes, and elegant? Absolutely. If it's... Uh, but what this. about when you want to get it removed? Oh my goodness, the scarring involved. No, so I'll advise you for that. If you want to get it removed, you have to use laser. Yeah, no, I, as in, because there's so much doubt mm. about it, I kind of just, I, I wouldn't get one. Yeah. But we have alternatives. Like we have henna, we have, you know, different kind of things where we can put on our body and it's not permanent. Mm. So, which is where I, I'm thinking, if you want to get a tattoo, fine. If you can hide it, it's hidden. You know, it's your personal choice. That's but it. But if it's on display, then you're in trouble. Cause, That's it. And a lot of people regret getting a tattoo. And then they get into professional jobs and they really want to get rid of it. Yeah. And it's very costly. Very. The laser that you have to pay for, it's very costly. So think about that. Before you get one. Absolutely. I'm a really indecisive person as well. Yeah. So I feel like... I'd get it and then change my mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, yeah. that's the problem. Because if you ask me, oh no, what kind of tattoo would you like? I'd like an elephant. Kind yeah. of tattoo on my wrist. You know what I mean? So it is. Why? Why would anyone want to put an elephant on their wrist? You would. I know. Yeah. I would, but that's the thing. That and I. But I know I'd regret it down the line. Yeah. So I would never. No, never.